All right, so to follow up with uh, looking at the uh, subcostal view of, of the heart, okay, you can get it in different planes here and you can record different images. All right, but the goal is to try and get a good four chamber view, okay? So now I want to get a kind of a gross assessment of his volume status. So what I'll do is I will turn the probe approximately 90 degrees. We're trying to keep the right atrium, which is right here, in view of, of what's going on. And as you ever so delicately adjust your imaging, all right, you should be able to start getting the, right there is the vena cava, all right? And so in order to get that in a better view, then you can save picture of that. And you can have your patient take a deep breath and bear down. And there it is, nice and pulsatile. You want to get it right where it attaches to the right atrium. Drive out there and you can take an exhale. Exhale, young man, good. And he's you know, a little bit on the dry side. Okay. Furthermore, we can take uh, an, an M mode measurement of this. And you can see as he takes breaths, there is collapse of the IVC. All right, moving on to the rest of his belly. All right, you can start to get a hint of some other structures here. There's, from the anterior aspect, we can get a, a picture of his, that's the beginning of his kidney. To really take a good look at his kidney, we're gonna go and adjust our view. We're gonna go towards the side here and <laughs> just kind of scan around. It looks like we need a little more gain. And also, we'll give him a little more goop all right so start out by going like this and we're gonna there's part of the liver and there is the kidney right there so we're gonna go and zoom in on the kidney a little bit all right and see how good of a picture we can get of this kidney here and where did the kidney go there it is so, I don't see any hydronephrosis, and we can zoom in a little bit more, and you can start to see the uh, collecting ducts there, and even the little pyramids there. All right, and so that's a good picture of what the right kidney looks like. All right, to see the left kidney, we'll have him roll towards us a little bit. There we go. And then this one is a little bit harder to see because there's more stuff in the way. All right, there's a spleen that's not as good of an acoustic window. And again, this one, you typically have to go a little more posterior. And there we go. All right. And let's see, aim it a little bit up. And really you just have to do lots of these to get better. But, and there's a good view of the kidney on the left side. All right, and I don't see any hydronephrosis. And we can see those, those uh, you can get a picture and see that it's not too small and that the Pyramids are all reasonable size. All right, last but not least, all right, is we'll have him lay flat on his back and you can get an idea of what's going on with the urinary bladder. Is there pee in the bladder or not? So that's really the, the question. All right, now uh, you can see right there that is the, you want to basically rest the bottom of this right on the pubis symphysis. And that big black hole there that you see is the urinary bladder. All right, behind that is bone that's reflecting. So you can, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna measure this 
Now what I haven't found, and I'm not certain that the uh, Lumify does this, is to uh, take a measurement uh, and add it all up. But the basic formula to calculate bladder volume is length times width times height. That's the X, Y, and Z plane. And, uh, and then you multiply that by either 0.5 or 0.75 depending on uh, what book you're using. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is get it in a reasonable midline plane. You're gonna take a picture of that. You're gonna measure. You can go from here to here, and then we are going to save that. All right, and then we'll unclick it, and then we will get uh, a, uh, so we did, that was there. So we're gonna go up and down now. So about there and about, and then about there. And then we will save that. And then we'll get in the other view here. All right, so I just turned the probe uh, 90 degrees. All right, and then we'll save that. And we will measure there to there and then save. Okay, so, and that's it for getting bladder volume. Okay, later, all right, so we can end this exam. Are you sure you wanna end it? Yes, all right, and then let's go back and look at our uh, saved exams. All right, this is Isaac Smith. All right, so this is off, so here we are. So this is all the studies that you've done already so far today. All right, we start off looking at a peristernal long axis of the heart, again, with a suboptimal uh, curvilinear probe, but we kind of got the job done, if that's the only probe you want to get. All right, this was a uh, peristernal short, again, sort of looking at the uh, upwards at the aortic valve, not really the ideal probe for that. This again was another peristernal short farther down and right at the level of the mitral valve. Again, not the ideal probe, but you get a gross assessment of LV function. Okay, this was uh, an apical uh, four chamber. You can see the left ventricle, right ventricle. All right, there's the mitral valve. Again, I want to emphasize it's not a cardiac probe, but you know, if you're this is all you got, you can make some you know baseline assessments as to what's going on. This uh, is a subcostal uh, view of. Uh, subcostal four, uh, you get a little bit of a five chamber there. All right, here we are looking at the uh, vena cava at the level of the liver. Here we took some measurements. So if we wanted to do the bladder volume, we remember 7.6. All right, so seven times four is 28. All right, times five is uh, uh, 300-ish. All right, and then you take 50% uh, uh, of that. So he's got a volume of uh, about 150 to 200 cc's of urine. And he's a little kid, so that's probably all he can hold. All right, you guys, well, thanks. I want you to know that I like this uh, Philips Lumify. Uh, it's, uh, it doesn't, it's not a complete package that you'd get with a real uh, you know, ultrasound suite. However, the fact that it's super portable and relatively cheap with a minimal overhead investment is... Uh, with pretty good picture images, uh, uh, and gets thumbs up from me. Uh, I have to say that the uh, handbook that it comes with, not so handy. It tells you some basic stuff like how not to get electrocuted and how to turn it on, but as far as how to do things uh, on the higher end of, of imaging, uh, it doesn't really give a lot of guidance for that. Uh, maybe a Phillips will come up with some uh, um, more uh, uh, in-depth uh, uh, education materials. All right, well, that's all I got. I hope you guys uh, consider using this, uh, and uh, I'll talk to you later.